All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm gonna show y'all how to do a high fade. So get y'all trimmers, and we're gonna set in the guidelines. So remember, high fade doesn't have C cuts, so we're getting rid of it. Remove the hair beneath the guideline, and we're gonna go with the shaver right after. After we just did that, we're gonna go with the shaver and leave about half an inch to an inch of stubbles so we can fit it in with the lever open. After we just did that, I'm going back with my trimmers, stop thinning up the stubbles a bit more, and then I'm going to go with my rebels and set in my guideline with my lever open, going about half an inch. And don't be scared to set in your guidelines because either way, you're gonna have to remove them. And now I'm going to erase that line that I just created by closing the lever. Every single time you fade up, the lever goes down. Keep that in mind whenever you're fading. Now I'm going in with my Gamma Ergos number one guard on it. Lever open, setting my guard line on top of that about a half an inch. To remove that line, I'm going in with my half guard lever open, basically going over the spots that I went over with the one, closed up the lever and started fading out from there. I'm going with my one and a half guideline right here. And as you can see, I start closing the lever right away so I can get ready and fade it with my one guard. Now I'm going in with my two guard, cleaning the rest of the dark spots that there's left, fading into one and a half. Now I'm going in with my one guard, using my corners, basically fading all the dark spots that the one and a half didn't fade. To make sure you clean the canvas, we're gonna go with our three guard and remove the rest of the bulk that there is. And then we're gonna go with our two guard, basically blend out the guideline we created with the three. From there we go down with our one and a half, close our two, and yeah. The next thing we're gonna do is detail the canvas a bit more. And I'm going in with my half guard and basically getting rid of all the dark spots I see. To begin on the other side, we're gonna start removing the hair. Now we're going in with the lever open, setting our guideline about the half an inch. But remember, same thing we do to one side is gonna go to the exact same other side. Don't forget your steps and don't get lost in them. Now we're going in with our babyless shavers and don't forget to leave half an inch of stubbles so it won't be harsh of a guy like that. Now we're gonna go with our trimmers to soften up the stubbles a bit more. You guys are just gonna see what I'm talking about. Don't forget to flick out with the shaver, basically blending the bod line to the skin. Now we're going to begin and remove that lever open guideline by closing the clipper. Like I said, as you go up, that lever will go down. Now we're going with our number one guard lever open, going about another half an inch. Now we're going with our half guard, lever open, playing with our levers, closing it, and having it halfway. Now we're going in with two to clean up most of the bulk on top. It still has too much hair to start with the one and a half, so I started going in with two. Now that we have cleaned it up with the two, now I can go with my one and a half and set up my guidelines, going about half an inch. Thank you. 
Now we're going in with my one guard lever open, basically taking out all the dark spots that the one and a half didn't take. Now we're gonna go with a two guard open and close, basically cleaning out the rest of the bulk. Now we're going with our half guard lever open, playing with the levers, basically taking out all the dark spots. Now we're going to do the hairline, and I'm going in with my one and a half down the grain, and basically clean up all the little baby heads that were poking out. Now we're gonna go with our trimmers, basically starting the hairline, going in the middle, starting to the right, then to the left. here did want enhancements so we're gonna go ahead and apply these enhancements using my spray gun go. man fuck fucked up man man i fucked up but we had just did this the stripe right now we just added it the moment I realized that I wasn't recording, I was so blue, man. These big ass, ass gloves I got. But look, to make it up for y'all, I'm gonna have another YouTube tutorial soon coming y'all way, so don't trip. Now that we're going in with our blade, basically cleaning up all this little stuff was making it bald. And we're gonna do the hairline. Follow my IG, go ahead, follow it. That's where I post all of my before and after videos. Man, just look at that clean ass cup. Topping it off with the straight blade. You already know, crispy. After we have did all those steps, this is what you're gonna come out with. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. Drop a like button, comment down below what tutorials I should do next. Make sure to follow all my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, at A Money Blends. Y'all already know, share my stuff and appreciate all the love and support y'all everybody been showing me. And this is the other side of the cut. Let me know what you guys think down below. We'll comment what kind of haircut tutorials y'all trying to see. Comment down some questions because I'm thinking of doing a Q&A real soon. And also a giveaway on a pair of clipper trimmers or shavers. I'm not sure which one yet. But so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And share this video to a couple of your friends. This is a high fade with um, the stripe. We trimmed the top. We did the lineup. Did the eyebrows. Clean up the goatee. So that's a full 360 of the cut. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Thank y'all for watching. This is that high fade with uh, the line. Eyebrows done. We trim the tops. So let's spray a little bit out the shape to end it off. Oh, yeah, we done. It's a money and I'm out.